Okay, hello and welcome to the Elite Dangerous Beta 2. Uh, just gonna go through some of the features and sort of stuff around. <laughs> um, so, they've made a lot of changes to the interface. Um, outfitting is much the same, but now there is a livery section where you can see a, a good angle for your skins. Uh, and then all the hard points, there's a lot more hard points now. <clears throat> a lot more, probably. Close to 10 more. Uh, you can upgrade your power distributor, life support, frame shift drive, thrusters, power plants, alloys, which you could do before, fuel tank, cargo, shield generators, all sorts of little things you can do now, which is cool. So you can upgrade and uh, make ships stronger and more customized now. Uh, jump distances are a lot better as well. Uh, even an eagle can jump pretty far. Um, Especially once you upgrade a few things as well, you can increase that jump distance and get uh, you can get lighter components as well, which help your jump distance. Anyway, so I only just bought this uh, Viper coming from an Eagle because I'm going to be playing a few days, but um, so it's only got a couple of crappy weapons and I've not got much money left, fourteen thousand credits. So we need to go hunting for some. Uh, bounties and bounties have been buffed. Uh, it's not like before where trading was the only way to make a decent amount of money. I regularly find 10 grand bounties, and I've seen the highest one I think was 25,000, and they show up pretty regularly. It's still probably not as going to be as good as your really big, big uh, trade runs where you'll make several hundred thousand per trade run, but it's it's more fun. Uh, another thing they added, which I love, they only added this a few days ago, this wasn't really beta 2, it was just sort of in one of the hot fixes, but you can now look around while you're docked, which I've wanted for a while. Um, I was actually thinking, probably a couple hours before they patched it in, I'd really love it if they'd, they'd add that, but uh, it's been added now, so it's nice, so now you can look around while you're uh, doing this sort of stuff. Oh, right. There's no... Uh, I forgot the Viper doesn't have a, a roof window. <laughs> no. Still cool to watch out here. Just so you're not forced to stare at this. Because I still don't like how slow that is. They're releasing. Still don't know what that does. No one knows what that thing does. It's just like a shield or something. Alright, we're free. Released. Engines engaged. Back in the good old Viper. That speedy Gonzalez as it is. Ooh, that <laughs> right, everything to engines. Did they nerf this? It's not as fast as it used to be. Huh. Okay. I guess maybe once it's upgraded, it'll go back to being 500 on a boost, but it's a bit disappointing. No, it's still got better hard points than the Eagle. I was sort of expecting them to nerf. Uh, where are we going? Let's go to Chi. To nerf this thing because it's it's a very powerful craft, the Viper. Just uh, two. Uh, well, they're not called like C2 and C4 uh, anymore. The the class for the hard points that been changed to just small and medium, which is probably for the best, especially with like newer players who are going to be like, the hell's the difference between a C3 and a C4, etc., etc. So that's all sort of uh, <clears throat> being a bit more simplified, but just fair enough. So now there's, I think there's only three types that I'm assuming. I've only seen small and medium. Um, what's the day? What's the interface changes? The, um, ooh, need a bit of lag there. It's, yeah, it's not been the smoothest um, release. There's been bugs, there's been, uh, let's say, performances. Better in some parts, worse in others. But all in all, still really good for a beta. Where are we? The, yeah, the, the alignment icons changed. And it's on the other side now, which is a bit confusing. Uh, some of the interfaces also changed in, in its coloring. And obviously, the um, if you saw before, the, the space station interface has been overhauled, and it's much better now. It's easier to get around, it's much easier to find. Just the, the quick little things like refueling and repairing and re rearming is much faster. They're right on the front page when you lo when you load it. So 
And that's the stuff you want to do, but you're going to be doing the most, so. And uh, I think apparently missions are cooperative now. Not tested that yet, though. A few other changes, uh, obviously they added exploration, um, so you can explore and make money that way. I'm not sure how much money is in that, but um, imagine it's like gold digging. Uh, if you find a sort of rich deposit, you'd be well off. Uh, you can also see NPCs in Super Cruise now, which is neat, because you can sort of track people down, uh, see if they're wanted from Super Cruise. So they, that's right, there's this system map now, which is cool, if it loads up. Huh. Okay. Is it freezing? What's it doing? Yeah, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Hello. Is it? There it goes. Okay, <laughs> so... That might need work. I think because it was technically loading in the instance. So now you've got um, a solar map as well now. So you can see what's here. So uh, these are stations. So they, they added the outpost. The outposts are really cool. I'll, I'll go to an outpost in a minute. Someone's scanning me. Uh, I'm not got anything against my name. So sort of here's kind of, this is how big the old star map was, this is, this, it was about 50 systems, so you, you were sort of limited to basically this sort of area. Uh, so now it's 500 systems, <laughs> so if I zoom out, you can sort of see it's it's this whole sort of pill ship bubble, and there's just tons of them now. 500 is just, that's a lot of systems, so... Um, and then you got to remember that that's just one tiny little fraction because eventually they're going to turn the um, Stellar Forge, that they call it, uh, on fully when the game releases and you're going to have 400 billion systems. Which, I mean, no one's going to... No one's going to explore, explore all that. They're probably just going to sort of stay in this area. I mean, uh, it's going to take months, if not years, to, to get out really, really far. So... Plenty of stuff to explore, if you're into that. Okay, let's, is anyone here? Someone scanned me, that's me, someone here. Okay. Anyone here? You do. the guy who scanned me go? <laughs> no one here. Skyboxes have been changed slightly as well, although they were really bugged initially. But they're back and they're pretty. Planets also have that. Oh, there's someone. Oh, and it's an anaconda. Of course it's an anaconda. So scanning's changed. The uh, name and their sort of ranking shows up really pretty much instantly. Oh, he is wanted. <laughs> Twenty-three thousand. I just don't have the armament yet to take him on. I need cannons, really. So I'm just gonna probably leave him alone unless someone else attacks him, in which case I can probably take him. Uh, so there's some guys fighting over here. Sorry, Star Wars when you can see the lasers from this angle. There's a viper here. Let's so hope he's got me. Playing the Asp. He's probably getting fired at. Yeah, he's getting fired at. Clean. So who's firing at him is not a nice person. It's eagle. Competent. And you're wanted, of course, for about two grand. So let's go over to him and say hello. I don't mean hello, do I? I mean... Fuck you, buddy! Oh, that's right, I have pulse lasers now. They made it... I don't know if it's on purpose or what, but pulse lasers are hard to find now. Like, I, don't, I haven't actually found a place that sells pulse lasers, it's just ungimbled pulse lasers. Um, <clears throat> I found a place with burst, but yeah, it's like the basic stuff is sort of difficult to find, so. 
These are uh, just loners uh, that came with the ship, so I might just hang on to them. I'm not sure if they're loners or wars or something, but um, probably shouldn't have burst. That was overkill. Come here. Problem with the eagles, they are really nimble. Fun to play to play with the eagles as well, because they're um They've got a really, really cool sound to them. Ah, your shield's on. online. Come on. Target shields are fine. Got you. I am. Oh, shit. <laughs> Straight through the wreckage. You shot me! The Viper. I think accidentally shot me. Ooh, type 6. So AI got a lot better as well, because now they don't just run away in these scenarios, they will also sometimes be like, oh, I'm going to fight you and turn around and fight. So, just before they didn't really do that. I mean, Anacondas did, because Anacondas are just like that, but I want to find someone with... Hey, what was the thing? Oh, yeah, that's right. The scanning's faster now, and but to find out if they're wanted takes a little longer. Hollows are really easy to Up goes the weasel. Okay, so there's someone over here. No, he jumped. There's these um white things that show up now where um they're the uh, frame shift drive wake, so you can use a scanner. I'm not sure what. I think you need a specific type of scanner. You can use this scanner, and you can um, follow them when they jump away. So if you're hunting someone down who's got a really big bounty on their head, and they manage to jump away, you can actually just follow them. They're not just gone anymore. Um, I still don't want to fight that. Feds are here. Oh, wait, here's the sidewinder. Hmm, thought I saw a sidewinder. That anaconda is still just hanging around, probably hoping someone will attack him. I kind of want to do it, because he's 23,000, but... Only two pulse lasers, and I'm not going to be able to take him. Hoping the feds... Try something. That asp looks like he wants to try something, but he's not going to. Ooh, geez, he's big. <laughs> so, yeah, anacondas are big, slow, very well armed. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I used one in the last beta, but it just wasn't as fun as a viper, so. I think there's a lot of. Um, a lot of guns you can put on that thing, but it, it's just too slow, too slow to turn. By the time you do line someone up, you could have killed them with the Viper so much faster. Oh, someone's fighting him. Sweet! Kill him! Warning. Under I am? How? Jeez, point defenses. Those things work now, apparently. Okay, ow. Stop it. Oh, I'm getting the fuck out now. Yeah, bye. Jesus Christ. Yeah, um... So defense turrets work now as well. They're really annoying. That makes killing him really hard. Let me take shields down. Thankfully, I'm much faster, so I can just run away. Is it coming to work for me? No. Maybe. Is that other guy still trying to attack him? Getting my shields up. He kind of looks like he's coming to work. Shields online. Oh, crappy, 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 crap, crap. Screw you, buddy. The AI is still kind of ram happy, but <laughs> you can still kind of avoid it. 
Where in the... There's just not much out of the kill today. Sidewinder. Wanted. What do you want it for? That's not a huge amount, but it just need enough to get a couple of cannons. Cannons are what, 20 troops? Wait, what? What do you mean incoming missile? Oh, you are fucking kidding me, is that... Are you gonna kill this guy and then I gotta jump because if I've got missiles on my ass? Target shields offline. I think it's just by me. Oh, come on! Wait, there's two anacondas now? I'm getting out of here. Everything new engines. <laughs> two anacondas with missiles. Oh, god damn it, come on. Faster, 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 faster. Wait, you're an authority vessel? Why are you attacking me? I'm not wanted. Wait, am I? I don't even know where to tell where you're wanted anymore. Oh, there you go, factions. No, wait, that's functions. Idiot. Uh. Uh, <laughs> far away from everyone. Uh, jump, 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 jump. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get away. Oh crap, it's coming. It's coming. Ow. The uh, shield still it, I think. One trick you can do is just jump out and jump back in. It should make sort of a new instance. So hopefully one with no anacondas. has been sort of redone, so now it's sort of a split system. It's still a little... you're gonna get low on the list. Be good if it like looped around, maybe. There we go, type 6 is their easy targets. Will they be wanted though? Nothing else. Nope. How about you? You're dangerous. Bit of clean. Sidewinder. Wanted for how much? 300 bucks? Uh, look at the eagle first. Wanted for 700. Hello. Anti detected lethal response authorized. What? what are you talking about? It? I shouldn't have a bounty on it. You have a bounty on you. You're the lethal response. You dick. Target shields offline. Unfortunate. Is 
they're fun to kill. <laughs> just because they're so slow. Okay, now do we have enough in bounties? Certain, uh, we haven't got any good ones. We don't have to buy any weapons. change the combat zones or not, because they used to not really be a lot of, and they run like 300 to kill, which is not a huge. Is there anything? Nothing here. He's gone. It used to be when they did that, they were just gone, but now you can target this and apparently scan it and follow them. No idea how that works. There's also wear and tear on the paint now. I mean, you obviously can't see it while you're inside, but when you go to, like, repair, you can... I'm not sure how you fix the paint. It's 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 much faster than I thought it would be as well. Like, you just can get in a couple of scraps or scrapes and suddenly the paint's just falling off. Ah, oh, we're 15k's away. <laughs> I wonder if I can see anyone. I'm not actually near the bacon. Bacon? Yes. Still a pretty fast ship, it's just, you know, not as fast as it used to be. So, I, I guess I just need to upgrade thrusters to, to make it like it was. Sidewinder. Dangerous sidewinder. Come on, let's scan already. Clean. Ugh. Pretty goody two shoes are. What about him? Is he clean? Another sidewinder. Come on, someone be a criminal. And you're wanted. Yay! For how much? Six hundred. What about you? Another sidewinder. There's a fight going on down here. One of these people we wanted. Hopefully they have more than... Oh, you're good. How much are you? 2,600. What are the other guy? That was a federal fighter. Ah, uh, that's not good. I have to be very quick with my kill. Because uh, the feds will steal kills. Too fast! Too fast! Where are you? Come here. Come here. Stop running away. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I'm going too fast again. Ah! Excuse me. Oh damn it, he's behind me! Go away! Jerk! Classic over overshoot. Shields are fine. Yeah, come on, I'm getting shot at by someone. 
stupid cops shooting at me. Shields up. Target shields Damn online. It. Come on, turn. They, they, ah, this is kind of All right. Yeah. Oh, more firepower. I mean, just two pulses. The, the pulse does feel weaker online. than it did before. Stop moving, you jerks. Come on! Ah! Alright, before this thing gets stolen. Gotcha, wanker! Jeez, he made me work for that. Okay, that those six. Your pulse lasers feel a little weaker. I, I, I used um, some beam lasers before. He, I think they've been fixed. They don't feel quite as useless, and you don't overheat instantly when using them. Oh, good, that bike was clean. Oh, I'm back. Three. Stefan. Scanning, and you're wanted for. Detecting hostile scan. Someone else is shooting him out. Target shields offline. Get around, buddy. Don't face me. Oh, shoes. That was quite close. Come on, where are you? And he's running. I guess I need to upgrade the ship a bit before it's a lot better. Target shields online. Target shields offline. Here, how much is this completely? Eh, it might be enough for like something. This is a bug uh, where like an AI will show up and then just like constantly trash talk, <laughs> spams. How much are you? You're an asp. Oh, 16 grand. Oh, yummy, yummy. yummy. Come here, you are my pay dirt. There's like a lot of competition to get this kill though. Target shields offline. Hopefully they're too slow to keep up with him if he runs. Again, I'm hoping he runs. One more Under the tower. Yeah, the um, cop AI is a bit trigger happy. Keep shooting me in the ass. Got him! I think I got him! Boom! I am so gonna go put that in the back. Okay. So let's go... I'm not sure if I can go to the orbital, but it's right next to it, so I will go there just to sort of show the, um... The new stations, because they're quite cool. Uh, they're really fun to land at, so... Two, one, engage. Jumping. They added this little like timer thing to uh, below the distance, although it's more of an estimate than anything. Oh, we're pretty far away. 
So Super Cruising is at least more interesting because you'll see a lot more things and you can sort of scan. Um, it can still be improved though. I'd love an autopilot. Even if it was like a million dollars to get like a, a Super Cruise autopilot, I just so want one of those. <laughs> just because it gets a bit tedious having to sort of... You know, it's not like it's hard to, to do Super Cruise, but it's just you gotta pay attention to your speed or you'll just overshoot otherwise. So. Tedious would be the best word for it, I suppose. I love this star map. Really, it's getting to the point where, like, you know, every single one of those stars is explorable in this. At the same time, they got to make sure that you know we have something to actually do because big open space can be kind of boring. But they're definitely doing. It. I mean, the 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 dev time for this game is just insane. They did this huge, huge patch in like six weeks. And they're doing another big patch in a month. Like, it's just constant content. Uh, well, not constant, but faster than other space simulator games that I won't mention that are sort of just s selling points for concept art. <laughs> so it's, let's put it that way. So this is the Gimmer Orbital, which I'm assuming is... Alright, so what's the other one? The Reserve, which is on the other side. So is this... I don't know, find out what it is, I guess. It's either going to be a space station or it's going to be an outpost. So weird that they're so close to each other, but I guess because it's a oh, there's some people. Who's that? Unknown. Oh shit! Ah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, slightly problematic. If you want to target someone else, see what they are. You have to untarget your thing, and because of the way Super Cruise works, it's relative to your target. So if you target something else in the distance, you suddenly speed up. So, my bad. We're almost within range though. So I'd like it if if navigation targeting and like ship targeting were two different things. I don't know where they'd f sort of fit that in, but it should be doable. Okay, so it's it's this. It's a um, what do they call these ones again? Coriolis? No, this is not Coriolis. I can't remember. Big ass space station, basically. Uh, you also uh, you. You come out of Super Cruise much We're closer to the stations now. It's not like 10 kilometers like it used to be. It's like 4 kilometers. So it doesn't take as long to get in, which is not a big problem in a Viper or an Eagle or something like that. But when you're in something like a Type 6 or a Type 9 that's slow as all hell, uh, it's nice being able to warp in closer. Where are we? 44. Oops, wrong button. There we go. I'm not drunk, I swear. Ooh. This is the guy in the tower is like, the fuck's he doing? <laughs> Docking rough, if we're honest. So yeah, I like that I can like look out here now. Um, okay, Starport Services. Uh, also, uh, I mean, getting into this feels a bit faster, but it's, it should still be faster, so... I need to be repaired. Oh, that's right, I took damage. I took damage? There was also, I read something about the weight of your craft affects your shields now somehow. I don't know how that works, but uh, where am I here? Contacts, local security. It's eight, eight grand. Uh, wait, eight grand? But I got that other guy. I was with like 22. I should have more than that. I don't, I don't have a criminal record. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Was it not in this system or something? Um, do they have anything here? So yeah, this still sort of takes a while, but it's fine. 
don't want everything being too quick, otherwise... Uh, you don't, you know, it's just... Rushing through everything kind of spoils the immersion. Okay. Uh, burst lasers, gimbals, multi-cannon, gimbaled. And... That's right, apparently they added the damage. Where is that? Rate of fire. 8 bullets a second. Damage per second. Oh, okay, cool. So the scatter spray fires more, it does more damage, but I think, I assume, is less accurate. So you'd have to get close, it's like a shotgun kind of thing. And then there's a good old cannon, which uh, damage per second is about the same, really, but it does it in all in one big punch. <clears throat> so how much of those? 21,000. I barely have the money for it. So I think I'll just wait for now. Um, so I compare <coughs> the medium ones, the gimbaled. So they do less damage than those. Although their fires are. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's kind of better. And nothing's perfectly better. And turreted multi cannons. It's kind of cool that you can put turreted things on on almost anything now. So you can shoot stuff behind you. Um, let's get the cartographers here. This is a new thing uh, where you can sort of buy system maps uh, for unexplored systems. Uh, bullet boards mm, changed a bit. I'd like more symbols because it's still kind of difficult to tell at a glance what a mission is asking you to do. Cause I mean, most of them. Cause what's this one? This is sticks. Do something. Time. What is it asking me to do? <laughs> so it's not all holers. Some of it is like. Is it all hauling stuff? Yeah, maybe it is all hauling crap. Need more hunting missions, really. Okay, so I had. It says no active missions. Where'd that 22,000 one go? I know I got it. It showed up in the thing. Okay, so that's an annoying bug. Ripped off. Okay. Go to the space station then. I mean, no, this, this isn't the space station. Go to the outpost. So this is a starport, technically, because it says it right there. really annoying. Hopefully it shows up, that bounty, because I'm pretty sure I got it. Pretty much the video again. Okay. Oh, I guess that's a bug. It is a beta. It is a bit annoying. I had like eight and a half million credits, and it's all gone because it was beta one. <laughs> and they reset everything. So I'm not really trying to get an account or anything this time around. Uh, although, I don't think I would, I didn't really find them very fun. So wait, are we in the orbital now? That is the orbital that we just came from. So we want to go to the reserve. Uh, which is sort of on this way. Uh, on the other side of the planet. The uh, mass lock range seems a bit shorter as well. Four, three, two, one. Engage. It's a very close moon. It's still such an immersive game. Like you really do start to get attached to your ship. <laughs> The only game I would buy an Oculus Rift for would be something like this. Because I just don't see the point in anything else. Oh, pay attention. I said, someone said damn you at some point. Uh, hard points deploying. <laughs> well, I'm in Super Girls, I shouldn't be able to do that.
didn't actually deploy them, did I? Maybe you can deploy them. Oh, oh, what the hell? Okay, so it's just got two space stations at it. Okay, missions. Yeah, no active missions still. Annoying. So where is a place that I can go that has an outpost? Magic, maybe? It's a system view. So if this, there we go, okay, cool. So we've got, yep, there's a hub. Okay, so we can go to that, we can go to magic. Okay, cool. So where is that gonna be? Good laggy. Jesus. Drive charging. Let's go to magic. Yeah, I'm I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's magic with an E. Magic. Same with a slight Four, accent. Three, two, one. Here we go. Engage. That's still, like, I've done that a million times now in the game, and that's still really satisfying. <laughs> Boom! But really, it's just the best way of having a load screen. Especially since it's technically interactive. Oh, wow, there's a lot in this system. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming the hub is going to be an outpost. Where the hell is it? Over there, right. Close to. This is an interesting system. Apparently, it's got an asteroid belt. In the system view, it looked like it did. I'm not, I don't know about. Um, Cause I know there's, you know, the rings of a planet is kind of an asteroid belt. It's not really. It's an ice field technically. But um, although I guess it's still anyway. Um, but there's no like solar asteroid fields that I know of. Unless... I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know everything they've added yet. Just sort of finding stuff out. A again, the guy who did the sound design on this, it's been said many times, give him an award, like an Oscar if you can, like, or <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize, just, just, uh, you probably can't hear it terribly well, I've got the sound sort of turned down so you can hear me, but the sound of this game is really amazing, especially like the eagle, like, even if you don't, if you're not interested in flying something like an eagle, if you play this game, just get an eagle for the sound of it and fly around in it for a little bit, it's like a sports car, it's so awesome. What is this, like an ice planet or something? Or is it? No. They added atmosphere, so... Well, that's kind of look a little weird for a distance. Speed up, will you? And just slow down, slow down, slow down. Should take about ten seconds. How oh, is this? See, that's the thing. I can't like target that person. Oh, they're already in. <laughs> The AI seems to be able to do a safe disengage from about two or three thousand kilometers, whereas I'm forced to go right into under a thousand. Be nice if it was like that for for the players, because I haven't gone into thousands a bit. I don't know, that's fine, I guess. It's not a huge difference between one thousand kilometers and three thousand at this speed. So still annoying seeing the AI go faster though. Load. Oh, for the love of God. Okay, so there's another space station. That makes it a different, slightly different type because it's got, you know. That's the one else is here. We've got that. Trumpler dock? Is that an outpost? Alright, you can have a look, I guess. Where is it? It's sort of. Gotta be careful around these things, you can run into them. Is that no missions? Uh, there it is. 
detecting hostile scan. There's off. I still don't know why I didn't get that. Oh, that's gonna <laughs> That was close. That's four thousand lightless seconds away. I that's gonna take a while to get to. This surely is an outpost. I know there's some like Beckett. I don't know what the hell is the name of that system. One of the starting ones, like Aaron has got one. It's the one you start at now. I guess because it's easier for new players to, to take off on them, but. It was still weird. I thought like the game had bugged out. You load in and it's just like nothing but sort of blackness around you. And well, I mean, the skybox was bugged at the time. That's why it was black. But still different from being used to loading in inside of a space uh, station. So yeah, this is really going to take a while. <laughs> the ETA says ten minutes, but we are speeding up. So. Get some speed behind us. Come on. Punch it. Your, um, that's right. Things actually show up. Things. Uh, on the radar now. So, like, planetary systems, you can sort of see the gravity around them. All the. Their absolute sphere of influence, I guess, which would be, uh, <clears throat> the point at which you'll be forced out of supercruise. I assume that's what that is. But, um, the further you are away from anything with gravity in this game, the faster you go in supercruise. Which makes sense. There's less gravity impacting on you. This is still going to be a very long trip. We're up to what, 45C? Whatever C is. I, thought, I heard it was like percentage of the speed of light, but you can go over 100C, so it can't be percentage. Maybe it's percentage of 2% or something? I don't know. The cool thing is, I've never been to any of these systems. Um, it really helps that they boosted the range that you can jump, because it used to be uh, really small. Uh, especially like this. Oh shit, we're gonna overshoot. We're not here. Especially with like the Sidewinder, and especially the Eagle. The Eagle used to have like the lowest. Um, you couldn't go anywhere. You were, you were basically forced into the same sort of four or five systems, which was like Stellis Primus, Aranen, Ibutus, Ulan. Basically, you were stuck there until you got, uh, basically until you got a Viper that didn't have any guns on it, because it when you start putting things on it, it starts to weigh it down. You couldn't jump as far. Uh, if you really wanted to explore in the in the last beta, you basically had to have Type 6, because that thing had a huge jump range. Uh, a lot of the other ships really didn't. But it's a lot better now. You, you, you don't feel like you're stuck as much. You really can as soon as you're in the game, go and explore, even in a Sidewinder. And you can upgrade the Sidewinder, of course. Uh, you put as much money into that as you want and make it probably very good, I'd imagine. I mean, you saw that one earlier was giving me the slip, so it was probably upgraded. So it's harder to judge how good an enemy is going to be when there's some indicator like based on their ranking. But it's it's not like before where it's like, oh, it's, it's a Sidewinder, this will be an easy kill. It might be a fully upgraded Sidewinder, in which case it might be stronger than you think. Obviously, if you go up against a fully upgraded Anaconda, holy crap, run. Especially now that the point defense turrets work. We're almost there. I love the little stars, the, well, not really stars, the little, little glowing dots, which are the everyone else in Super Cruise flying around. I have a feeling this is just going to be another dock, not an outpost. I really wanted to show an outpost in this video. Okay, faster, faster, faster. Okay, maybe not this fast, this is a little too fast. <laughs> yes, it's telling me it's too fast. Oh, uh, shit. 
No destination lock dropping at current No, nah, I was too slow. How far away am I? 130. Uh, super cruise, I guess. Oh, cool down the shot. My current speed would take six minutes or so to get there. Come on, go down. There we go. Drive charging. <laughs> Hopefully I don't <laughs> jump straight through it, because we were close. Three, we just two, missed that. One, engage. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just jump in, jump out. And that should get me close. Yep, it's a hole, it's right in my face. Yeah, it's another dot. Okay. That's not gonna hit me, is it? No. Hmm. Where can I even get to from here? Ovid? Did oh, Hercules have? Hmm. Let's go to the galaxy map. So I know if I get an Aaron and I've got one there. Yeah, so this is a bug, I think. Where it just sort of there it goes. It takes forever to load that. Okay, so this sticks and I boot this. Gee. System view. It's impossible to oh wow, this is two sounds. Salon relay, what's that? Orbital period, point two days. Oh cool, they added all this information too. Prohibited. Oh cool, you can see the prohibitors now. Sugar, botanical drugs, combat stimulators, federation. I mean it's it's a relay, it can't be a full sized one, can it? Alright, what's this? This is Grand Enterprises. Okay. Well, I'm assuming it's the relay, so... Let's go out of the system. I like this view, it's very cool. Okay, so we'll try the relay. I have a feeling, judging by that symbol, that it's gonna be an outpost. So we will go to... Where the hell are we going? Vaxium? Three light years. Where is it? Drive charging. Yeah, uh, lagging. So yeah, that's... No. <laughs> eh, it recovered, kind of. No, it's still doing it. Still Four, lagging out. Yeah, there's definitely something going on with the, uh, with the maps now. And they've never been the best running things ever, but they're getting worse, so I need to look that, I suppose. Turn the key, then. Alum relay. 14 light seconds. Discovered one new astrom. Oh, cool. So I've not been everywhere. So if we target this so as an example, I have not discovered this sun anymore, even though I've apparently been here before. But this particular sun has its own independent name outside the system, although it will basically be the system with a number beyond it. So you just target it. The scanning takes a while, and it's unknown, unknown, no. Okay, there it goes. So that's Bakimisi A. So there's multiple stars here, I'd imagine. Um, 14 light seconds, that's right, no distance at all. Where the hell is that? Oh, right, I haven't targeted it. All right. um, 14. That way. It's really close to, there it is, it's very close to the sun. Cool. What am I on here? Okay, well, if this is not, I mean, I'm pretty confident this is a an outpost based on the symbol. That seems to be the only indicator of what it is, because all the other ones had their own symbols. Uh, are we? There we go, go faster. <laughs> we were close enough. To, uh, Gotta watch my speed, I will overshoot really quickly. As soon as you start coming away from the gravity of something, you can just increase in speed by like two or three times. Seven seconds, still seven seconds. Oh, 
there's actually a planet here. It's like a Mercury type planet. Considering how close it is. That's cool. I thought it might. Ooh, discovered one new astronomical object. It's got a close orbit. <laughs> Not a huge gravitational force from that planet, though, so you can get really, really close. Wow, they improved the detailing on that by a lot. Oh, crap, he's uh, got to it. Okay. And what kind of outpost will it be? I'm going to bet a scientific looking one. Or maybe it'll be a, a junky one, I don't know. Not an overly populated uh, system by the look of it. Cool, it is a scientific one. So this is a, what we would consider to be a space station, really. I mean, a modern space station, not the big ones, but a uh, present day one. Uh, it's obviously a lot bigger. But this is one of the new outposts. This is obviously one of the uh, sort of scientific type. It's much smaller than a normal, uh... Oh, that's, that just looks cool. A normal uh, space station, like a Coriolis or a, a uh, the new Oculus ones. I've not seen an Oculus one yet. Uh, let me make sure I crash into something. Okay, so let's just have a look. Okay, so there's the landing. That's a big landing pad, so that's probably for, like, an anaconda or something. Um, so let's request docking. Otherwise, they'll yell at me. Request granted. Okay, they can find the landing pad. Here, some green lights. I'm assuming they're here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we're so close to the planet. Gonna make sure don't crash into the damn station. Is it on the other side, maybe? Yes, I know proximity warning. Because I know the other ones, that's... Now the landing pad's a big one, it's for an anaconda or something. Are they... There they are, there's the small ones, they were on the other side. So, uh, this place is really close to the sun. Landing gear. Oops, yeah, wait, what was I trying to do there? There we go. <laughs> Characteristics of docking with these things are slightly different too, because there's no artificial gravity. Docking successful. Engines cool. disengaged. So we can go in there and do whatever? It works just like any other um, dock, except you'd get less options. There's like generally no outfitting. So, but we will refuel because we've used a lot of fuel. Um, no launch, just because I think this will look really cool. Ship released. Huh. Engines engaged. Just that sun. That just looks awesome. Okay, so I think I. Shown a lot. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.